Uh, we're excited to present our study findings with our collaborators, Eli Lilly. We examined two validated patient-reported outcome tools, one the Diabetes Empowerment Score, the other the Diabetes Distress Score, in a cohort of people using Livongo with diabetes. What we found is that 61% of people had improvement um, in at least one of the scores over 12 months of using the Livongo program, and 94% saw improvement in at least one score during the, study's fine, uh, during the study period. The Diabetes Empowerment Score is a validated tool to look at how empowered people living with diabetes are as it relates to the day-to-day -day management and understanding of the things that affect their diabetes. It's really important people with diabetes to really make sure that they're feeling supported and knowledgeable about how to manage their diabetes. The Diabetes Distress Score, on the other hand, is a score of how people feel in terms of um, the shame, the guilt, or how they might feel they're failing in their diabetes management. So in a sense, they're on opposite ends of how people manage their diabetes, but really, really important tools, primarily because people who have diabetes in chronic conditions live with um, these conditions all by themselves. They're left to manage it. Um, there's some guilt, uh, and there's also burnout associated. So any program where you're trying to empower people with diabetes like Livongo, what you're trying to do is make sure that you're improving their overall ability to manage their diabetes um, and not failing in that care. And what we've shown in our study is that in both situations, we're helping empower people while reducing the stress related to diabetes and chronic condition management. A little bit about the study participants. We looked at 950 members that were enrolled in the Livongo for Diabetes program, both uh, people with type 1 and type 2 diabetes, and people on insulin and um, also just on oral medications for their diabetes. At baseline, everyone got a diabetes empowerment um, survey uh, as well as a diabetes distress uh, score survey. And we re-examined their scores again at 12 months and compared the difference uh, at the 12-month mark. Uh, the biggest thing that we found that we were surprised by uh, were a couple of things. First, that uh, people who had complex medical regimens and medication regimens, such as those on insulin, actually saw the biggest improvement in diabetes empowerment, which is a great finding since uh, the complexity of treatment really leads to burnout uh, in those individuals as well as distress. The other thing is that we found that people with multiple chronic conditions also saw significant improvements in their uh, diabetes empowerment score. And then finally, people who had diabetes for at least two years saw the greatest increase in diabetes empowerment score. Once again, emphasizing the fact that uh, people who have been living alone, managing their diabetes, had an opportunity to really feel empowered uh, with our management tool as it relates to their overall care with diabetes. It's really important for companies like Livongo and other digital health companies to produce academic publications. Number one, we want to make sure that we're improving the outcomes of all people living with chronic conditions. Two, it's really important for us to understand which aspects of our program are really empowering people and helping them cope with their chronic conditions. And three, we have to continue to find new ways to empower people with chronic conditions, particularly diabetes.